Hello everybody, here I am again with another video about the plum butter uh, and I thought that this time I need to get serious. What does it mean to get serious? I thought I'm going to start a patch uh, implementing um, a lot of the tips that I got from people who have more experience than me that you can find under some of the videos that I've made in different forums and in different groups uh, where I shared these videos. People gave me some golden tips. Here I'm going to go through uh, a patch that is using the deer horn uh, in order to control everything. So the deer horn is getting a pulse and is switching between the two oscillators and you can see the blue lights a little bit here in the back between all these uh, cables and it's self triggering so this um, I don't have to do with my hands although when I go there with my hands it does crazy stuff we'll see um, so deer horns controlling everything sending gates to everything and uh, also it sends audio um, modulation at different destinations. Now, um, let's see and uh, we'll take it uh, step by step. So first we are going to open the deer horn. You hear these two notes? Da -da -da -da. Like a police car, so they're very very close, the pitches between the two notes. Uh, and like uh, a previous patch that I've done in the videos, I'm uh, putting some uh, noise from this, from the snare, into the um, here, uh, into the input, uh, let's say VCA input, mixer input of the deer horn to get a little bit of this crackle, which I love, I love, uh, and you should put it everywhere here. Um, okay, so this is the sound from Deep Horn. So you see it now, this sound is uh, going to be in um, sync with different other th uh, sounds here. Uh, let's continue with drones, AV dogs. Just droning calmly. They get here uh, a gate, uh, sorry, a trigger from the twin horn and from the other one here also. I chew them together so there is no too many pitches. Um, maybe a little bit less. Okay, I have to note here something that I'm using again some external effects, a little bit of reverb and a little bit of delay. A minimum of delay nah, just a little bit and let's see what else is interesting there is some crazy things happening uh, at the gongs here I'm gonna go through that later um, the most interesting thing is uh, the middle section um, let's see how uh, I'm going to explain that it's the ultrasound section here in the, in the middle one the middle section here. Um, it's also getting triggered by the same um, deer horn um, uh, triggers. Oh. You see what happens when I go there with my hands sometimes? I influence the circuit. This is cool. And it adds volume. <laughs> I like that. So, But we have to be careful. Um, and it's being modulated by the sound here. Both sides of the ultrasound. Um, I managed to make uh, um, a beat out of this, a rhythmical thing anyway. You hear it, it's in sync and it does a kind of a galloping rhythm. Taka -tan, taka -tan, taka -tan. Of course now you hear the reverb quite a lot to the beat. And the snare also. But somehow it doesn't really have any attack, so you kind of hear the 
noise falling up this galloping rhythm from the ultrasound. I really like that. So that's a crazy patch. Um, so, nothing extraordinary. It's just that I'm, I'm happy that I, I used these tips in order to uh, sync everything up. And I didn't want to create rhythms, I wanted to create only drones. But after a while, when you create too much, too many different pitches, are, it's very difficult to control. Um, a very interesting that happens on the gongs now. Let's go through that. I also try to add a pitch that fits. <sighs> very difficult. One gong is on your right ear if uh, I'm correct with the panning which is staying stable let's see if I can isolate that yeah that one you can hear that on the right side that pitch is relatively uh, no it's it's pretty stable I'm going to maybe close everything else to hear what I'm talking about. Crazy. So one gong is have a constant pitch. Nice. The other one, which I tuned to be in tune with, with the other one, this one, it does a, um, a little bit, uh, it changes the pitch a little bit, which it doesn't make any sense because I'm just sending a trigger from here. I try different places I try to send triggers from different areas and it does weird things with the pitch so if I take it out from here eh? it stays the same and then it goes away maybe it has to do something with the settings here button is ah it does go a little bit out of tune this button has to do with how uh, the gong will behave uh, but the triggers yeah you hear that it, is, it does it more often so it's here on this side it accepts all the triggers and from the other side it accepts just a a few of the triggers. Yeah, that's interesting because at least I can have that not too often. So if anybody has any clue why this is happening, this is the first time it happens to me. Um, anyway, let's see if we can fit that with the rest, maybe a little bit softer. Deer horn, beats from the ultrasound. And a AV dog drones. And a little bit the snare as a noise. Now, the last thing I wanted to show you about this patch is what happens if I put my hand close to the deer horn. And it goes back and again. So it looks like my movement, my hand is overriding just for a little bit the triggers that it gets. That's super cool because it's, this is very performative. And you notice that the, the percussive sounds from the ultrasound are also stopping when I do that. Um, which makes sense. So, yeah, that's it. There are some minor things happening, like I'm sending 
some uh, here for example I'm sending this audio output from this AV dog into one of the um, inputs here the blue inputs here from this uh, gong I'm not expecting on this one has an influence on this gong that does this weird thing but anyway you could you could uh, if you turn some things off you can create a little break with this sound and if this is happening more often it's a little happening that you can add into your patch and then go back to go back to uh, the rest of the patch so you can you can play with that so now this is me at least this is how I feel like that I'm getting serious about it like I'm starting to understand it and I'm starting to feel like what is that it wants what is it that works with what um, I have the sequencer here on but it's not doing anything this one um, no nothing uh, I'm not I'm not using it at all I could have uh, just taken it off um, yeah I wanted in this patch to to have the deer horn uh, triggering everything else so I hope you liked it um, there's gonna be more patches coming and hopefully they will get better and better so again thank you for watching and if you have tips let me know I can use it I can make great music and I can show you and you can do it too and you can show me maybe if the plum butter does completely different things with the same patch so yeah let me know and till the next time I will leave you now. Bye.